Hello, good evening students. So myself Shwetan Mitra, you know that very well. So again I have come back to my channel. So earlier I have mentioned in my last video that next video onwards you will get to know about the experiments from of this chapter. Means uh, first of all I will uh, experiment you will uh, see here first the taste of starch, then taste of proteins, then taste of fat and then taste of sugars. So starch means also you know which is the carbohydrate, the part of carbohydrate, polymer is carbohydrate. So here today I will make you understand first the taste of starch, then next video uh, protein, fat, sugar this way you will get to know one by one. So first of all to taste of starch what you have required. So let's let's come to the main point let's see first taste of starch first of all the materials required which is the it is called the food samples first of all the food samples like potato rice etc which are the main food sources are rich in uh, starch you can say these food samples are rich in starch so food samples like potato, rice, you have to take, then taste tube, then one spoon, taste tube holder, then dropper and chemicals. Chemicals like here you have required iodine solution. So the chemicals like iodine solution it is requ highly required. So now how you can prepare iodine solution? A dilute solution of iodine can be prepared by adding a few drops of tincture iodine to a test tube half filled with water. So a dilute solution of iodine can be prepared by adding a few drops of tincture iodine which is concentrated iodine. The density is high tincture iodine. So you have to add water with that to make it dilute. So few drops of tincture are added to a test tube half filled with water. So when you will add water with the densed iodine solution, then it will become diluted. So in Bengali from ghano theke patla hoja beta. So that is called from dense to diluted or concentrated to diluted. Now I have written over here extra like starch containing food items. Already mentioned food samples. So food items which contains more amount of starch are like peas, corn, potatoes, beans, rice, etc. And many more are possible. So I have written here four or five. So many more are possible. So with these food items or food samples, you can do the taste for presence of starch. Now, what will be the process? Let's see. Process is like that. Experiment I have written first point experiment. So take a raw potato and cut it into two equal halves. You have to take a raw potato and then you have to cut it into two equal halves. Add few drops of iodine solution which you have already prepared. Diluted iodine solution from tincture iodine to dilute iodine solution what you have already prepared. So that solution you have to put on that part at the cut ends of the potato that potato already have cut with the knife or any other um, uh, things so after cutting that you have to add few drops of iodine solution at the cut ends of the potato then you have to observe so what will be the observation the portion of the potato where you have added that iodine solution that particular portion of the potato will turn to blue black it will turn to blue black so you have to keep in your mind the color should turn to blue black so then you can come to the conclusion which is called also result so if that particular portion turn to blue black means this shows the presence of starch if the color will become blue black so it shows the presence of starch in the potato which is also called carbohydrate or part of carbohydrate. So that's why I've written starch in brackets carbohydrate. So you will get in my video one more video there you can come to the conclusion more nicely. So observe the video carefully that 
you get to know about the experiment properly. So, see this properly. Hi friends, my name is Kesna. I am studying in 7th class from Chetana Pragati High School. And my topic is test for starch. I am doing an experiment. You will need some materials. That is test tube, iodine solution, black then potato contains starch I hope you all have understand this experiment very nicely. So properly you study this experiment and again and again see that you know school is closed so you don't uh, you don't have the chance to go to the lab so you have to do the process at your home. It is not possible but observe this properly. So uh, wait for my next class. There you will get to know about the taste of protein in food items as well as the fat also. So wait for my next class. Thank you. Visit again.